Hi everyone, Jason here with Omni Pools and Scapes. We just wanted to shoot a uh, small introduction video to pool equipment and pool functionality for your review um, at a later date. So we'll go ahead and dive right into learning what we are looking at right now, what you're going to be looking at as a new pool owner. This area right here, if you ever notice any debris in here, you simply shut your pump off with the start stop button and you open this valve or this top which can be a little hard sometimes you'll see there's an o-ring underneath there that needs to stay clean of any debris you can set that down right there also another thing you'll hear that water draining right now if your pump is high above your pool it's always nice to turn off both valves from the suction line that creates an air vacuum which will allow that water not to drain okay you take out your skimmer basket or this is actually your pump basket and just clean out the debris lightly you can rinse it out with the hose if you'd like to get it that clean but this is for getting any large debris out you'll see this is still this is pretty clean so there's a hole in the front. That's the only way it'll go back in. You just stick it back in. Okay. You put this back on. And if you put it on this way, with this little dog ear right beside this, and you crank it down until it gets to that and touches it, that's tight enough. So then all I have to do is hit the start button and you'll hear it start to kick on as i do that i'm not freaking out and i'm going to go ahead and open my skimmer valve which will allow the pump to start priming again it has to get all the air out and then to and get water in here that's why you shut those off that i did not do first as soon as you shut it shut the pump off you shut those off and it'll help that water stay in the system now it's going to take it a minute to prime but we'll watch that get going so you can see it happening it's starting to pull a little bit of water in there the good news is is this pump knows when it gets too hot and it'll shut itself off so if that happens you just shut it off shut your valve reopen the top and fill it with water until it overflows. Once it starts overflowing, then you put this back on, close it, turn your pump on, and open your valve again. That helps with the priming. It's going to prime up right now. It's starting to pull. You may be able to hear it with the audio here. But you'll see this is the water starting to prime. So now it's nice and full. I can open my other valve and I'm going to do this slowly. If I open it really quick, it would lose prime again. Now you'll see it's probably going to pull, it may pull a little bit of air. Yep. See how I pulled some air and then it's going to catch up because now it has two, two lines sucking. So since it's pulling pretty good, I'll go ahead and turn it open. So we have very good prime right now. We have no air in the basket at all, which means we have a great suction input. The pump is working good. It's going through the filter. 